So there's screens scattered around two spaces. Some of them are in clusters on the floor, laying flat on the floor. Um, and some of them are attached to the wall uh, on a very low, uh, le low level. By putting them in this position, they become also an object on itself. And so they also create a sort of sculptural installation in the space. So on the screens, it's uh, mostly uh, footage from my archive that I shot with my phone camera over the years. A lot of them are uh, playful research into the, the moments where the camera doesn't work as it's supposed to, um, or how, how the algorithm of the phone tries to fill in where it actually doesn't know what it sees. That is one of the common things in the footage. And another one is that most of the footage is shot in moments that I was on my own, um, often while traveling or being in this kind of in-between spaces, which together with the soundtrack creates uh, a sort of um, contemplative mood where, where, where nothing is kind of very set in a, in a certain space or topic. So also the drawings that are seen in the, in the work are um, selected in this manner of like it's all, it's a huge archive of material that is made without having a specific purpose and then sifting through that and selecting what actually works in that sense. I had um, Elliot Fry designed this very slick, uh, smooth logo to also kind of contrast the, this kind of this graininess that is in a lot of the images, which it still refers to the screen as being a TV, which is most commonly used as. There's four speakers in the whole space of Never Neverland. The sound is also made just when I hear something interesting or when I feel like, oh yeah, this is something worth capturing without having a purpose for it. And sometimes the sound also travels from one room to the other so that it even enhances this kind of warp of where you are. <laughs>